that's what it's going to look like. Except I'm going to paint this with gel coat, so it'll be white. But that's what it'll look like. Alright, so we're going to put the coat of air dry gel coat with wax in it. And that will cure the laminating resin, so it will it'll be done. So we're going to brush it on real thick. One coat. Because uh, if I want to do a second coat, I have to sand, because this is air dry. I don't want to sand. We want to call it done. Alright. Now it looks like your typical shitty fiberglass boat. I'm thinking of all gripping it so it would look less uh, shitty fiberglassy. I don't feel like buffing it and sanding it and recoating it and all that jazz. But you know. So after a long winter, it was great to put the sails back on the boat and get it ready to sail into Halifax next week, where we plan to clean it up and get ready for our summer adventure traveling around Nova Scotia. We have a loose plan of uh, where we're going to go, but mainly to spend as much time as possible on the boat. Boat's in the water, things are happening. Uh, we did have some water in the bilge. It was, uh, it was up to about here uh, in our uh, bilge switch. Doesn't seem to work. I don't know why it doesn't work because we just put it in last year. So it's either a wiring issue, a fuse, or that switch is bad. So I'm gonna check that out. And the water was coming in from over there in the engine area. So one of the leaks was coming in from the seacock here. It was just above it, actually at the hose clamp. So I just tightened that and I added a second one for good measure, which is standard practice. The other leak was coming from the stuffing box. Uh, it was leaking quite a bit, so I had to do some adjustments. If you don't have the right amount of drips, then it overheats and it might uh, might wear the shaft. If you have too much drips, well, you just fill your boat up with water. You just want the right amount of drips. It took me about 30 minutes of messing around getting the right setting on the stuffing box. Here I am testing it right now, and I would never recommend anybody do this, but I have my hand underneath the stuffing box looking for drips. You gotta be very careful putting in your hand near a moving drive shaft is less than ideal. The proper way apparently is to use a mirror to watch for drips, which I did not have. That way. What I do know is that the bilge pump works. It works manually, it just doesn't work with the switch, the floater switch. Check the fuse. Looks good. Uh, so, next up is checking for power, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Point two, point two, what the fuck's going on there? It could be that, we only have the one battery and not two. I bet you that's what it is. I only installed the one battery because we're going to get another, a second battery, but this could run off the second battery bank. That would explain a whole lot, actually. Well, you learn something new about your boat every time you work on it. It's good to know that your second battery, if it's dead, is not going to flick your bilge on. Good to know. Alright, so I've been sanding for a couple of hours. The gel coat is dry, and it's a bit bubbly. Some brush marks and so on. Don't know if I care, but 
the transom is especially bad. Very brushy. So I think I'm going to sand that. It doesn't seem like a fun idea, but it will make it look a lot better. Okay, so I got my second coat of gel coat done. And it's a little better than the first one, but not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, a lot of brush strokes. There we go. Sand it. Alright, sand it again with 60 grit. It's uh, somewhat smooth. So, uh, I broke through in a few places, which didn't really surprise me. I might give it another light gel coat and then uh, put some anti-skid paint on it to distract. Take your eye away from the lumps and the bumps. We're going to roll it on this time, give us a texture, a uniform texture, and I hope that uh, we like it. And if we don't, we don't care anymore, because then I'm going to put some Interlux uh, grip paint and uh, Bob's your uncle or some shit like that. It's uh, looking pretty good. Gel coat's down. Uh, the texture's a little better than the paint brushing. I kind of wish I'd done that first. Um, but it is what it is. Now the only thing I need to do, she looks pretty good, is uh, I'd like to curve these edges. It'll give it a little more of a professional feel. It's all taped up and ready to go. We just gotta paint it on. Alright, so I did another coat, and now it's time to peel the tape off and uh, see what we've got. Yeah, it does distract from the imperfections. Once there's some tubes on here, it should look pretty good. Not too bad for our first try at a homemade dinghy. Bob's your friggin' uncle. Oh, Bob.